Three Hink. Thanks for joining me and welcome back to another uh, what I'm liking and not so much. So yeah, if you guys would like to stick around and see what products I've been using and what I'm liking and maybe not so much, then keep on watching. All right, today I don't truly believe I don't think I actually have a not so much so again that's probably always a good thing. I'm starting off with this product here that I've been trying out and using and it's another one of them items that OGX had sent me. It is the Renewing Argon Oil of Morocco. It's elevated finishing spray so it's a nice big um, tall can of hairspray here. Uh, it's an 8.5 ounce. I have really been liking this. I don't normally use hairspray all that much anymore. Barely ever have I been using hairspray. But this one here, like when I spray it on, it has a nice scent. It's not real um, sticky tacky like some are. Not for me anyway. It's not. Um, I know some can be really crazy. You know, some can be really, really crazy with the um, stickiness and everything, and I don't like that anymore. I know when I, because I'm from the 80s, like my teenage years and all that's from the 80s, and big hair was in, and I used to tease it and hairspray it to death, and it was like you would lift up one piece and like the whole side would come. So yeah, I don't use hairspray anymore all that often, but it's been fun using this for days that I want my hair to kind of stay in place. I guess I've just been keeping my hair more natural anymore. Um, you know, just that's how I've been working with it. But this is really nice for days like if I'm going somewhere, put my hair up in that um, bun and it keeps it kind of in place and everything. So I've been really liking it and it has a nice scent too. Another product, I just got this not long ago at Ulta and I've always heard people talking about these um, beauty smoothie shower, these shower gels. Um, it's actually a three-in-one. They're three-in-one like a shower gel, shampoo, bubble bath. Honestly, even philosophy, like I can't use those in my hair as a shampoo or anything like that. I just can't. Um, this I pretty much would either use in my bathtub or in my shower. And this one is Go Go uh, Guava. Go 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 Guava. And as you can see, I'm using a good bit of it. But this one here, it smells like an orange dream sickle. If you know what an orange dream sickle is, uh, then you know exactly what scent I'm talking about. If you don't, um, it's uh, a popsicle that's orange and then it has like ice cream in the middle. Oh, it just, it smells just like that. It's very refreshing. Perfect for right now, you know, the summertime and everything. I really am liking these. I feel it suds up pretty nice too. It was go, go guava. A scent I have for you guys is Mariah Carey uh, Ultra Pink. I'm not sure how many places, gosh, I don't even know if you can see it though, the name, but it's um, her Ultra pink. She has pink and then this is ultra pink. And I'm not sure how much of her perfume you really can get anymore unless Walmart has them in those kits. Maybe you can get them on fragrance.com or something. I just love these because these have that scent that I like. It's very fem feminine um, and it's a little bit, it's not real bold, but it's there. And on every time I have worn Mariah Carey pink, especially I would always get compliments from people like, what are you wearing? Like, what is that scent? So I really been pulling out my ultra pink lately and putting that on. And this is more the body spray, but it still stays on really good compared to some other body sprays. Makeup brush. I have a makeup brush here that I really like, and I don't get to talk too much about makeup brushes that I like a lot. So I'm going to try and start adding other different things in there because obviously <clears throat> makeup brush is a product that item that you use while you're applying your makeup and well, it has to do with beauty. So this one here is from Sigma. This one is the Tapered Kabuki F86. I have had this for quite some time now. Oh my goodness, quite some time, a couple years now. And I've always used it under my eyes. Like when I'm putting on my, any of my powders, like a setting powder, or um, I used to use it for the concealer and set the concealer, but I find with my finger it's the best way because if you use this, I feel like it 
takes away and absorbs up and kind of smears around under there for me for, for when I'm putting concealer on. So I use it more for just under eye setting powder and just dab along there. And it has the perfect point to get like right in the corner there and then work all the way down and around. Um, I know you can buy uh, cheaper ones like there is um, different brands out there. The Beach Cosmetics has some some of these kabuki brushes and everything. I really like this brush and I thought probably should start mentioning some makeup brushes that I do use that I really do like and this is one of them. This is I grab it every single time I'm doing makeup every single time. So yep Taper Kabuki F86. And I did um, not too long ago uh, what, I, uh, what I'm liking, might have been even last week or the week before. Gosh, I don't even remember anymore. I mean, it's hard to even believe that this week's gone by already. Time's just zipping by us like so fast. And um, I mentioned, you know, I really like the Wet n Wild uh, primer because it does remind me of one of my favorites, which is the Too Faced Hangover X. I don't know. Some people say Hangover RX, uh, some say Hangover X. Whichever way it is supposed to be pronounced, this is the one I do love. This is probably one of my favorite primers. Um, I love Laura Geller's, I love Melly's, and this one and the Laura Mercier. Those are some of my favorites in the more higher end. And this one here I really like because it doesn't have silicone free, has the coconut water in it, which is so good for our skin, um, especially maturing skin to keep it hydrated. Um, I just, I really like it a lot. I think it's something very refreshing. And uh, I thought, you know, I'm going to pull it out again for this week because, uh, you know, I haven't been using it for a while. So Too Faced Hangover X or RX, whichever way, this, that guy there. This I've been using a lot this week is my Physician's Formula Organic Wear uh, CC Cream. It kind of glares, I guess, a little bit because it's like a foiled, uh, foiled um, packaging. But it's the CC Cream. It's it's thick. It is a thick product, but it covers so well. And for right now, like now with summertime, I don't always use too much foundation. If I do, I like to use my Fit Me Dewy because it's a lighter foundation. It's not too thick. This is thicker, but it doesn't feel too cakey on my face. Um, and then I set it with a powder and it kind of just works all very well. So I really like this one. There's two palettes here I've been using, which sadly they're both limited edition. So the only way I would imagine you get them is on eBay, of course. So I'm sorry about that if I'm showing you a limited edition palette, but it is what I am liking. It's the Sephora Ombre Obsession Ombre Obsession Palette. Uh, this came out just this past Christmas, um, and I got it because I seen Makeup Fun with Olivia, which I will put her link down below. She was showing it, and I've seen other people showing it, and it gives you a nice variety of different blushes there. In the middle, that's the highlight and it has like really pretty bright pink, it has a plum, um, it has like a baby doll pink almost, and some bronzy shades, some peachy shades. You know, it's, it's pretty versatile. You can, there's like lots of different colors in there. I think today I put on these two shades. These two right here is what I'm wearing today. And then the highlight I put on, I'd probably say this this shade here is one of my favorites. This one here is one of my favorites. And then this one way over here is one of my favorites. The other palette is my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. I've been using using this a good bit this past week. Um, it kind of works out perfect right now for the you know summertime kind of colors for me. Um, the reason being they are more cooler tones. So you got your oranges here. Um, and down here, some of my favorite shades, like one of my favorite shades is that Gojo shade right there. I love that shade. Um, and I use it with Sorbet a lot of times. Definitely love my, uh, Melon and Tangerine, these two shades right here. Um, today I did put on Penny on my lid, uh, which is this shade down here, Penny. And worked it in with Cabernet, which Cabernet is one of my other favorite shades in there. And then I used Tawny and Burlap 
as well in that my whole look today. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because um, I'm not always, uh, I wanted to kind of do a bronzy look and the Penny shade is very pretty, but it wasn't the bronzy shade I was looking for. Penny is a very pretty color, not that it's not, it's just not the bronzy. I kind of was like, oops, but it turned out pretty nice. I'm, I'm liking it. We have some lip products, a lot of lip products that I've been using today. I am actually wearing, and I don't know if this was a limited edition, it says it's a luster. So this is a luster lipstick and it's in Real Doll. I don't know if they even have, I don't know if it came from a limited edition or not, but it's a really pretty pink, really pretty pink shade. Kind of works for right now, you know, with this summertime. Uh, there it is right there. Uh, and that's what I have on my lips today, actually. Didn't want to go too bold because my eyeshadow color and stuff. Another MAC product that I love, it doesn't really show up. Um, it's not like a pigmented color, um, but it's pretty. It kind of lightens up some shades that might be just a little too much for me sometimes. And it's from their Cream Sheen, um, Cream Sheen Glass. Um, these ones here. This one's in Japanese Spring, actually. It's kind of a lavendery pink shade. And like I said, they're not um, something that really is going to be pigmented and show up or anything. It's like right here. So you can see it's not real pigmented. Like it probably even look good on top of that, but it might make it too light. I don't know. Pink Pop from the Maybelline Vivids, the Pink Pop. This is one of my favorite Vivid shades, seriously. And oh, yeah. You can totally tell it is. It is one of my favorite shades from the Vivids line in Maybelline, and it does give you that nice pop of color. You can see a theme here, can't you? And then the other one I pulled out, Lilac Flush, is what this one is. This one's in Lilac Flush. And this one is definitely more in the, you can see the lilac shade. Boy, is it showing, it's weird. It's showing it more bluey color. It's really weird, <laughs> but it's not. I promise you it's not, but there, there it is there. That is hilarious of how it's showing off. It's probably the way my lighting is, but that's it there. Now that's when I put on the Japanese spring. I put it on top of that just to lighten it a little bit but I love my purpley shades. So and then if I want to wear them, but I don't want to be too extreme, that's kind of what I do. And then I have my Buxom, yes, I have a lot of lip products here. My Buxom White Russian. There's no color to that neither. Um, it's just another one that's a nice topper. And then it does have that minty, right there it is. There's no like real major coloring to it. But, and then there's that mintiness to it, tingly sensation. So I've been using this one a lot to top off as well, or somewhat, some couple times I've worn both my lip glosses like alone, like just by themselves, just to give my lips just a little something when I stepped out and I wasn't going anywhere major. So, all right guys, that is it. Holy cow. Okay. I did have a good bit, but then I didn't. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I do really appreciate it. And if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. And I really appreciate that. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. I do put videos up every week. Uh, definitely, definitely, did I say that right? don't know. Definitely, I do have my what I'm not liking and not so much on every Wednesday. So that is, a, that is something I've been working on to have up every week. As always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys all take care. I will see you then. Bye. I love you guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.